Hi, Neil Morgan again with another Lick of the Week, this time a C minor idea, utilising a couple of different arpeggios to get a Dorian sound. So as always, I'll play the thing, and then I'll explain it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, we're C Dorian, uh, so we're outlining a C minor seventh chord. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using two arpeggios. The first arpeggio is if we get the C minor seventh, we start on the eighth fret of the E string with the first finger, uh, and we're going to play. Mm -hmm. So that's 8 and then 11 on the E string. There's a hammer on. Then we're going to take second finger on the 10th fret of the A string up to the 8th fret on the D string with the first finger. Okay. Then we're going to, with the fourth finger, play the 12th fret of the D string. It's just a standard C minor ninth arpeggio for four <laughs> Start on second finger on the tenth fret of the D string, then first finger, eighth fret to twelfth fret on the G string with a hammer on, and then the tenth fret of the B string up to the eighth fret on the E string. So like this. Okay, then we play the 13th, uh, sorry, the 11th fret of the E string and pull that off back to the 8th fret. Then the 10th fret of the B string and then the 12th fret of the G string. From there, essentially we're descending the A half diminished arpeggio in B to 4. Every time you have two notes on a string, you do a pull off. Then you pull that off to the eighth fret of the D string. Then I'm going to slide to the twelfth fret. So we're landing on the ninth of the chord. So that whole arpeggio figure, we go 11, 8, and 10, and 12, 8. Then 8, 10, 12, 8. 10, 12, 8. And then 10, 8. And, three, and slide. So two distinct parts. C minor 7th arpeggio. Sorry, C minor 9th arpeggio. And A half diminished. Okay, there it is. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.